What's going on everyone, this is Raheel and welcome to this video brought to you by Fidgets. Today we're going to be looking over the Fidgets Rover Kit and everything you can do with it. Let's get straight into the video. At the very bottom of the Rover Kit, you'll see the Rover itself in its black metal chassis. There are four wheels on the sides, hooked up to four yellow DC motors. The motors aren't controlled individually, but are instead controlled in pairs, as you can see with the two wires. You'll see the green battery pack strapped to the bottom with its own wire attached to it. This wire is for charging the battery and for sending power to different fidgets. The first group of fidgets are the wireless Vintup fidget, the DC motor fidget, and the sonar fidget. The wireless Vinhub connects to four things. Your computer using the included Wi-Fi USB adapter, the battery for power through this port right here, the DC motor fidget, and the sonar fidget using one of these hub ports. The DC motor fidget gives you full control over all wheels. With it, you can modify the speed and direction of both pairs of wheels. The sonar fidget will be placed at the front of the rover and will be used for collision avoidance. The second pair of fidgets are the regular Vintup fidget and the thumbstick fidget. The thumbstick fidget will manually control the rover. The Vinhub connects directly to your computer using the included USB cable, and these two connect together to control the rover. So we'll first try to get the rover to move forward for like a second or two just to make sure that the wheels turn in the same direction. To start, navigate to the Fidgets Education website, or the link I put in the description for ease of use, to look at the move part of the introduction lesson, which is where we're going to be copying our code from. You're going to be copying the code by going to the code section, just clicking the copy button. Once you've copied it, make sure to paste it into your code editor. I'm using Thani right here. And once you have that all set up, you'll notice a few things. We are importing packages from the Fidget22 library, which is not included in Python by default. So ensure that you have Fidget22 installed. If you want to install Fidget22, you can use the pip package manager or you can go into Thani and go into Manage Packages. To find the package, just search up Fidget. You'll see Fidget22 and Fidget22 Native. Fidget22 is the one you want to use if you're using Mac and Linux, and Fidget22 Native is the one you want to use if you are using Windows. Just click on one, and then you just click Install. I already have it installed here, as you can see, so I don't have to install it again. The next thing you'll find is that we're connecting to our rover wirelessly through this network server. So make sure to plug that Wi-Fi adapter into your computer so that the Wi-Fi shows up on your list of networks. Once the network shows up, connect to the network using the information available on your wireless Vintup. Now I'll show you how some of this code works. So essentially we have comments over here that are also visible in the copy and paste it code where we create the left motor and the right motor objects that allow us to manipulate its properties. So setting the channel at which it is operated at and attaching the device to actually control it. You're going to see this as a consistency where we create, address, and open the objects to ensure that we can control them uh, afterwards, whatever we may choose, because that's the step to initializing the fidgets. So when you click that play button, you should see that the rover moves forward. But if it turns instead, then you have to switch the wires on the zero channel on the DC motor. The next program is going to be using the sonar fidget. The same procedure as last time. You're just going to take the code from the link in the description and paste it into your own program. In terms of coding, not much has changed in terms of initialization. All you're doing is creating an extra sonar sensor and you don't have to address it this time. So essentially here we have a while loop that is executing some commands every 250 milliseconds. So you can see it prints to the screen the distance and it also stops the motors. So it sets the target velocity to zero when the distance is less than 200. And then if, it won, if it's not 200 millimeters, it just goes to the speed it was going at, which you can see that its initial speed is going to be 0.25. So 25% of the full speed. Once you have that code, you'll be able to start the program and see how the rover moves at 25% speed and then stops whenever when it sees a object in his path. This last program uses the thumbstick fidget. The thumbstick fidget connects to your computer, again, using the USB adapter included with the VinHub. Once again, all you're gonna do is take the code from the website and just paste it into your editor of choice, then just start the program. Of course, very similar initialization process. In this case, we're just creating a voltage ratio input. So that's going to be determining the analog input. So this part, part might not be in your copy and pasted code. I've done it anyway on my case because I want to increase the rate of data fetching. So it's constantly reading our commands and there's no delay on when the rover moves forward and backwards. 
And to actually further reduce that delay, I've actually added an increase in acceleration, which is in a different lesson of the Rover online course. You'll probably have all of the same stuff here. Again, a while true loop. So that's constantly calculating the voltage ratio input or the analog input from the thumbstick. And it is computing that to ensure that it doesn't go over one or negative one. Because when you go diagonally, sometimes it pushes it a little far and it doesn't, it reads incorrectly. So you want to limit those by uh, using an if statement and converting those values to one or negative one once they hit the limit. Afterwards, of course, you apply the values and that moves the motors forward and backward. So here's the joystick I have in my hand and I'm just moving right now and the rover is moving on my desk. You could even do it diagonally and the rover will only turn one wheel. There's so many things you can do with this rover, like swapping the thumbstick for an accelerometer to control its movement or making it seek out the brightest spot in the room using light sensors. You could even take off the Wi-Fi hub and sensors and use them in a completely different application. Otherwise, that's the end of this overview. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and comment on what you use the rover or the fidgets for. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.